Hello my friends, this is Paul, and welcome to A Common Touch of Fantasy. Today we're doing my Wednesday new releases. These are the new releases that came out yesterday, April 14th, and the ones that I think are the coolest or the best. Um, this week there wasn't that many new releases, um, so I'm only going to share uh, four of them. And without further ado, these are the four books that I think are the most interesting. Alright, the first book this week is Melanie Ron's Window Wall. This is the fourth book in her Glass Thorns series. Uh, Ron is pretty famous for her Dragon Prince, Dragon Star, and Exiles series of books. She's been writing since the late 80s. Uh, she writes traditional fantasy, but she does it pretty well. Uh, the Glass Thorn series, which this new book is in, is all about a part elven, part fae, part human wizard named Cade that is in a theater troupe where Cade is an actor. Cade is an amazing artist that would do anything to reach the height of society as an honored artist. In this new book, Window Wall, Cade finally gives in to his face side and starts receiving visions. Because fighting against the, his face side has been causing issues between him and his theater troop. When he sees the visions, it is about a royal castle being blown up. And he has the knowledge to try to stop the event from happening. But he must work with one of his most deadly enemy to do so. Okay, the second book is Clash of Iron by Agnes Wilson. This is the second book in the Iron Age series. This is a follow-up to last year's Age of Iron. Uh, Age of Iron was a dark fantasy that was modestly uh, successful last year. Both books follow Doug, a mercenary, and Loa, an unpredictable and fearsome warrior, and Spring, who is a small girl that is on the run. Each character is actually from opposite sides of opposing forces, but they're thrown together by fate. In the first book, it's during the time of the British Iron Age, around 40 AD, and it's the beginning of the Roman invasion. In the second book, the invasion really has been ramped up, but the tribes of Britain keep fighting against each other for some reason, and Doug and Loa now must defend a castle that they possess. Uh, the part that I think is interesting about this new second book is that there are now spies in the Roman army that you get their... Um, perspective from and they find out that there's like druids from Britain that are now helping the Romans and also the spies end up meeting Julius Caesar and when they meet Julius Caesar his charisma really uh, changes how they view things and who the good guys or the bad guys are. The third book for this week is A Crown for Cold Silver by Alex Marshall. Uh, 20 years ago the feared Cobot Zoza led her five villainous captains and their mercenary army into battle to save a kingdom and to save a throne. After the battle was over, Zoza decided to give up her claim to the throne and she just kind of retired in peace. Well, it's been 20 years since that happened. And her village just randomly gets slaughtered. And her once allies from the war 20 years ago might be the culprits. Even though she is now older, she wants revenge. And she goes and tries to recruit the five captains that helped her before. You know, all the characters are much older than what they used to be. And I think that is refreshing to have older characters as fighters and, and whatnot. And, you know, the whole revenge thing is a little bit cliched. But what looks good about this book, I've read some of the reviews, is that it has a really interesting world building with very interesting characters, things that you really don't see that often in a traditional fantasy book. It's one of, it's one of, it's a darker read, but it just seems like it's an interesting book, an interesting premise. It kind of reminds me of Seven Samurai, in a way, and I really like Seven Samurai, so this book really interests me a lot. Uh, Django Wexler, a uh, fantasy author, he read this and he reviewed it on Goodreads, and he really liked it. He gave it a five-star uh, book. So, I think this looks good. This is my most anticipated book for this week, A Crown for Cold Silver by Alex Marshall. Okay, and then the last book is 
Prison of Hope by Steve McHugh. This is the Harlequin Chronicles, number four. Uh, this is an urban fantasy series with Olympian gods. Uh, Pandora is a human girl. Pandora's only purpose is to create chaos and death, and she was able to escape Hades and become human. Nate Garrett is a 1600-year-old sorcerer that just found out that he is a sorcerer, and he's this old. Now, he stopped Pandora in the first few books from trying to destroy the 1936 Olympic Berlin Games, but now it is in modern-day Berlin, and Nate finds out that the Titan King Cronus just escaped um, Hades' clutches. And Cronus is a powerful Titan, and the other gods and other people in this world are trying to use Cronus to win a civil war between each other. And it's Nate's job to find Cronus and bring him back um, to Hades. So if this is something that interests you, you know, Olympian gods, um, more urban fantasy, uh, a little bit kind of like Percy Jackson, only with adults, and less in the fantasy world and more in our traditional world. Uh, if this seems like something to be interested in, uh, check this out. Alright, so those are the books that I think are the most interesting for this week, April 14th. If there's any books that I've missed or any books that you have on your radar for this week, let me know. Um, let me know if any of these sound interesting to you, or, or let me know if any of these is on your TBR. Uh, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I will talk to everyone later.